Okay. Let me see. Luis. Luis Velasco. Hi. Hi. Um, William. William Josue. Hi, I'm here. Hi, thank you. Ariel Maradiaga. Eh, present. Okay, thank you. Diana Campos. Diego Garcia. Hi, I'm here. Will okay, thank you. Wilman. Jefferson. I'm here. Alvaro. Hi. Alvaro, are you there? Um, Saul. Carolina. Duban, Ronald, Jose Emerson, Brian Otoniel, Adonai. I am here, teacher. Good night. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Francisco. <laughs> Francisco and Rodrigo. Okay, so we are here. So now we are going to practice, okay? We are going to start. Let me know if you can see my screen, okay? Sorry for the noise. I am not uh, controlling my neighbors. So sorry. Okay, um, you should call the police. <laughs> you you finish to realize that uh, anything will happen. <laughs> so, uh, can you see it? Yes, we can. Yes. yes okay. Can. Excellent. So. I have a question for you. Which one, uh, which type of movie gender do you prefer? The fantasy ones or the horror movies? Let me see, I'm going to ask you. I don't know why I cannot see you. Okay, now I can. William, so sorry, but if, if you turn on your camera, you will be the first one that, that you <laughs> appear. So sorry. Don't worry. No, don't worry. Um, I think fantasy. I saw horror movies, but but I think I prefer the fantasy movies. Okay. Do you know why? Mm, I mean, what? it's just why. It's just because you prefer oh. them, or do you have a reason? Because well, um, the most common it's because the horror. Um, I scared. <laughs> <laughs> It's very scary to me. <laughs> Some okay. movies. Okay. And the yeah. fantasy, um, it's like um, my imagination fly because um, I like to, I don't know, to know different things or, well, um, there are things that that are impossible in the movies and well, <laughs> I enjoy that. <laughs> okay, I I agree with you. I love fantasy movies. And I hate horror movies. Okay, Jeff, let's see. Jeff, what do you think? Which one do you prefer? Fantasy movies or horror movies? And why? Mm, I don't like none of them, to be honest. Okay, which one do you like? <laughs> I prefer comedy movies or okay. action movies. And why do you... Uh, done or why why do you hate i i i heard uh, i don't hate, hate but <laughs> almost 
I do. It doesn't uh, catch me. Okay. So that's why I prefer to watch comedy and love or action. And it's like yes. more of the real life, right? Yes, yes. Okay. Okay, it's completely acceptable. Adonai, what do you think? Or do you have any other <laughs> movie gender? Uh, I like the movie fantasy. Why? Yes, I never in my life um, like this movie to the uh, terror. Okay, the horror movies? Yes, I'll in in all my life i only see movie uh about to the um fantasy okay. and war um, um drama okay <laughs> yes interesting so uh, francisco what do you think thank you thank you Adonai. You know, Francisco, which one do you prefer? Horror movies or fantasy movies or any other one? I don't know if you are, because I, I saw that your, your microphone is on, but, but I cannot hear you. So maybe go out and then come back. Okay, let's check. Ariel, what do you think? Which one do you prefer? Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Uh, okay, um, I prefer, I usually don't see uh, movies, but if you ask me about these uh, two movies, I prefer uh, a scary movie. <laughs> but my favorite movies are uh, about war because you learn. Yes, it's about the, true. About the history. And that's why uh, are my favorite movies. Okay, interesting. I I don't like to watch them a lot because they make me cry, but they are really interesting. I prefer to watch uh, documents. <clears throat> or, or I, I, I mean, I, read, read or, or watch any yeah. other type of. It's very, it's very weird, something like that type of movies. Personally, I don't know uh, anybody who likes that war movies. My but... father likes, and I, I, really... I would say loves that type of movies because they, uh... they, uh, they spend his childhood in this situation. Mm, so, okay. Uh -huh, they like to, yeah. to watch them, but I... Like... I cannot, I start to cry yeah. in the first minute. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Okay, interesting. And let's check the last one. Let me see. This fire, are you there? Yes, teacher. <laughs> okay, excellent. So which one do you prefer? Um, I prefer, I like the, uh, the horror movies, um, but I uh, I like the um, the courses, uh, the action movies, and uh, I like the the horror movie, but uh, the movies that is a killer or oh. or something like that because when a ghost is a it's in the movie uh, like a ghost. I don't, I don't, I don't have fear. Okay, so, that that thrill that you 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 feel that he will kill you or something like that. Uh, uh, yes, I I think uh, that is more uh, terrified as 
serial killer or or something like that. Okay. That's that's interesting. I have so I, I have some some uh sorry, I have seen some of this type of the shorts movies, short films, but in real life. I mean not in real life. Uh, they are based on real life and that's no. interesting. Okay, yes. excellent guys. I appreciate a lot your your comments. So we are going to have just a short review of um, competitives and we are going to start also superlatives, okay? So let me see, I cannot see you. Um, Luis, help me read, please. Okay, comparative adjectives. We use them to comparative to nouns. Example, all, cartoon, all, car all cartoons are more interesting than new cartoons. Okay, excellent, thank you. So we use them to compare to now. Then this is my example, how all cartoons are more interesting than, we always have to use than, and the, the other noun, new cartoons. So, Diego, when do we use them? Uh, when, uh, when compare to nouns. Mm -hmm. When we compare to nouns, okay? And can you give me an example, Diego? Um, Mm. Uh, fantasy movies are more interesting than horror movies. <laughs> okay, and that's true. That's the best part. <laughs> yes, yes. <laughs> <laughs> okay, excellent. Yes, so you see, we are comparing uh, fantasy movies and any other type of movie, maybe horror movies, okay? Or comedy movies or killer movies. Uh, so now let me see Francisco I don't know if you already fixed the problem uh, yes I can, can you hear, hear me teacher yes okay 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 so help me read please okay superlative additives we use them to express the extreme quality of noun example Journey to the center of the earth is the nicest movie ever. Okay, thank you. So now it's different. You are not comparing two nouns. You are saying that one noun has the extreme quality to express the extreme quality of something. For example, since I love the book, in the movie, I can say journey uh, to the center of the earth is the nicest, sorry, is the nicest movie ever. Journey to the center of the earth is in the top, on the top. Okay, so I can say this because I love this. So I can express the extreme quality. Now, Ariel, can you give me an example? Mm. Um, let me see. Could be, um, uh, I am more stronger than my little brother, maybe. <laughs> okay, but you are comparing you and your little brother. So a stronger, but but the stronger is a superlative, I think. Or stronger not. is a comparative. Ah, okay. And okay. I will explain you then. You can say I am the most strongest, or sorry, the strongest man okay. in okay. the world. Okay. Okay. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> <laughs> don't worry. Don't worry. We are, we are learning. 
And we are going to learn today how to use comparative adjectives in the correct way. So we are going to use uh, the ones that we learned before to have like a, like the first step in which we, we can start. So those are rules. One, two, three, four, five, and six. There are many rules, so you have to pay attention, okay? So let me see, William, help me read the first one. Okay. One syllable adjective, fast, young, comparative, add E and R. It's faster and younger. The superlative, add E, S, T. It's the fastest and the youngest. Thank you, William. So do you remember, let me see, let me see. Emerson, what's the meaning of a syllable? Yes, teacher. Do you remember what's the meaning of syllable? No, teacher, I don't remember. Okay. Some of you uh, remember the meaning? Yes, yes. Hello. Hello. Sí, no? Yes, but can you explain what's that? In español? Oh. No, in English, we're in, a, in an English class. My goodness. Okay. Uh, <laughs> one syllable is the combination of um the i forgot a vowel with a um, consonant uh-huh yeah. that's in spanish but in english we are like regulated by the sound so because here you have one syllable like in spanish f a but what about this one in English, we just hear one syllable, fast, young, syllable, three syllables. So if you have one syllable, one sound, syllables are the way in which a word is divided. For example, favorite, just three, favorite. Even if we, we, we write, Favorite. Okay. Favorite. Got it? So, for comparatives, that means to compare two nouns, we use ER. For superlatives, that means the extreme or the highest quality of something, we use EST and we add, we always add the. Okay, the fastest, the youngest. This is just for one syllable adjectives. Do you have any doubt? Uh, yeah, teacher, I have a, a doubt. Okay, tell me. Uh... <laughs> Uh, can you explain all, please? All? The all. Okay. Do you remember what's the meaning of syllable? Remember, uh, remember that syllable is the sound of a word, the part of sounds. For example, uh, delicious. We have three syllables because we hear three parts of the word. De, li, shus. Yes. Okay, so yes. here we have just one, fast, jung. So just one syllable because we hear just one step or one uh, sound of a word. For 
if you want to use fast to compare two nouns, you can say, um, my car is faster, ER, remember, faster than your car. Now, if I want to use superlatives, the highest quality, the best of the best, I would say, my car is the fastest car in the world. Okay, got it? Uh, for example, my, my house is the bigger to the city. The biggest. The biggest, more mm -hmm. the city. Biggest the city. is yes. to compare to nouns. It's superlative. Mm -hmm. EST oh, okay. for superlative. So your, your example is good, but use EST. My oh. house is the biggest. It's of the, the city. Of the city. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Okay. Got it? Okay. Uh, let me see. Ariel, help me with the, the second one. The second one. Uh, yes, one. Okay. One syllable. One syllable. 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 Ending in E. Nice. Strange are nicer, stranger, S D the, the nicest, the strangest. Thank you. So if as simple as that is the if the adjective ends in E add R or S T. Okay, nice, nicest, one syllable, remember, nice one, strange one. Okay. So you just add R or EST. Can you give me an example, Francisco? Hello, teacher. Can you hear me? Yes, yes, I can. Example for what? For comparative or superlative? The one that you want. You can choose, don't worry. Okay. The, the teacher is nicer than my brother. <laughs> okay. Okay, and Adonai? Uh, in the second shape, we use uh, two syllables, yes. In this one? Ah, uh, yes. No, yes. one, just one. Oh, one sorry. syllable. Can you see? Nice. Strange. Uh, uh, mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Okay, teacher. Okay. So, do you have any doubt? Any other doubt? No? Okay. Uh, Emerson, help me read the third one. Okay. And the uh, one syllable consonant plus short vowel plus and I can, I cannot see the... Yes, that's a problem. But sorry, as simple as that, if you have a short, it's also with one syllable. All of this rules is for just one syllable adjective. So if you have here a vowel and then a consonant, you double the consonant. And it's the same case here, okay? So you, you just need to know vowel here and consonant here, you double the consonant, okay? Got it? Uh, please repeat uh, the last question, uh, explication. Okay, all of those rules are just for one syllable uh, adjective. So for example, B, you have here a vowel. What's, what's a vowel, guys? Can you tell me the vowels? 
A E I O U. A E I O U. That's a vowel. So our vowel in this example is I. Okay. This one. This is our vowel. And this is a consonant. The opposite or the rest of the of the words of the letters. Okay. So here we have big. This is our vowel and this is our consonant. And you just double the consonant. If you have here big, you say bigger, but add in another G. Okay. Got it? Yes. Okay, excellent. Okay, now we are going to talk about two or more syllables. Famous. Delicious. You see? Two or more. Okay? So let me see. Adonai, help me read this one. Uh, two and more syllables. That, that teacher. Yes. Yes. Okay. Famous, expensive. More famous, more expensive. The most famous, the most expensive. Okay, famous and expensive. Famous. Famous and expensive. Okay. Okay, how many syllables does famous have? Can you count it? Two syllables. Two. Famous. Very good job. And expensive? Three. 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 Expensive. Excellent. So if you have two or more syllables, you are going to add more for competitive compared to nouns. And superlative, okay. the highest. Yes. Teacher, uh, uh, in the in the world we uh, that word have three syllables, famous, but we say uh, two. Syllables, famous. Because we hear the sound. Uh, you have to is, guide. Is it the form? Is it the form when we uh, hear the uh -huh. word? Uh -huh. okay. Okay. Uh, okay. It is uh, not equal to Spanish because in Spanish we have three here. Yes. And in this one we have four. But we are not studying Spanish. That's why you. You count syllables if you hear it, depending on how many you hear. Do you hear? Okay, yes, teacher. I understand. Uh, the form is how we hear the word. Excellent. So, can't you okay. give me an example? Uh, let me see, William. I, I, mm. Uh, a word with two or more syllables. Mm -hmm. mm, let me see. Let me see. Mm. I'm not thinking. <laughs> Maybe delicious? Delicious. <laughs> mm, in comparative, more delicious. And superlative, the most delicious. Uh huh. Could you give me an example? Mm. <laughs> I don't have the idea. Maybe, maybe person. pizza, pizza, and burger, which is. Which one do you prefer, pizza or burger? Mm, burger, I think. 
Um, okay, so see. um, pizza. No, sorry, sorry. Burger, hamburger eats more delicious than pizza. Excellent. So now give me one with superlative using the same one. Burger. Okay. Um, burger is the most delicious dish or fast food. Um, it's the most delicious than pizza. Oh, remember you are not comparing. Now you uh, are saying the highest quality. Mm. Burger is the most delicious dish, mm -hmm. I think. Yes. Or let me see. I think that's a good example. Oh, okay. Or 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 maybe a, an example. Mm, which one? When this is the most delicious. Or has the most delicious burger. Okay. Uh, okay. Okay. So now we continue with two syllable uh, adjectives, but uh, Francisco, help me with the example, please. The, the rule. Okay. Uh, two syllables ending in J. Adjective okay. happy, crazy. Uh, comparative, remove the y and, and y. y and add higher, happier, crazy, crazier, uh, superlative, highest, the hap happiest, the craziest. And the other one, teacher, the comparative. It, they are just examples. If you want to read it, read it. Okay. Mary is happier than Susan. Superlative, Mike is the happiest. Okay, excellent. So you see, simple. You remove the Y and instead of the Y, put the I. And we continue. E-R or E-S-T. Easy, right? So here, comparative because you are comparing two nouns, Mary and Susan. And here, because it's the highest quality. Mike is the happiest man in the country, okay? And finally, we have some common exceptions here. We don't say good, gooder. We say better for comparative or the best. For example, Journey to the Center of the Earth is the best movie ever. You see? And for good, we say worst for, for, for superlative and worst for comparative, okay? That's the one that you have to memorize. That's me that you have to learn uh, one by one, like the irregular verbs. Yes, but, but they are not um, a lot like in, mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. verbs. Mm -hmm. So don't worry, they are not a lot. So now guys, um, as I, I mentioned before, we are going to have a verbal uh, test of unit one, sorry, of paint one, okay? So one of you will be working, talking, a practicing and one of you will be with me in a breakup room taking the test okay so for example William and me we are going to be in the breakup room and the rest of you will be in another breakup rooms but practicing practicing these activities okay just uh, will be the verbal test will be one by one Got it? Yes. Okay, don't worry. That's not a, a, a difficult test. They are just three questions. They are easy, I promise you. Okay? 
So I will copy the link. Please uh, open it and I will create a, your breakup rooms. And one of you will be uh, with me in the taking the, the verbal test, okay? I think uh, we are not be uh, like completed with this, with this verbal test because some of you won't be able to pass today, but we are going to continue tomorrow and so on. Okay, so this is your first um, activity. They are just easy questions. You have to answer them and explain why. For example, would you like to be in a movie story? To be a movie story, why or why not? And so on, okay? And the other one is similar to this. You are going to be just talking, talking and talking and don't use in uh, Spanish and also don't use, um, don't lose your time <laughs> or don't waste your time. So this is the other one. Is watching a film better than reading a book? They are also questions, so you are going to answer them and that's all. I'm going to send you the link. So please open the links and be ready. Uh, if if I if you receive a like an ad, a special ad in your screen about joining the my breakup room, you have to join. Okay. I am okay. I. I will be in room one, okay? So the first one will be William. No, nah, I'm kidding. No, <laughs> so sorry. You always <laughs> are the first one. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> so give me a second. So you will be working. You will look really. What? You will be working in group of three. Okay, so talk with you between, between. Okay, join please. Adonai, you will be the first one. Sorry. <laughs> you can do it. Teacher. How are you? <laughs> nervous? Don't feel nervous. You will you will do it okay. Excellent. I know it. Teacher, in, yes. in, in this group I am alone. Yes, just you and me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Don't worry. No. Any 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 of your classmates will hear you. This is a uh, uh, this, uh, is, this is a verbal test. Okay, so ah, as okay, okay, okay. that, just three questions. Okay. Okay. So, can you okay. uh, introduce yourself? Uh, yes. Do it, please. Uh, I can uh, speak about to me. Yeah. Uh, to the myself. Ah, yes, myself. Uh, uh, my name is Adonai Gonzalez. I am uh, 39 years old. I am work. Um, to uh, um, freelance and um, study English 
and how make a code in a academia. Uh, I like to soccer. I my uh, food prefer is uh, the fish. I don't like to uh, feel about to the terror, but I prefer to uh, uh, move about to a smile and science and uh, drama and fantasy. Okay, thank you. And how does your mother or father look like? Can you describe uh, your father or your mother? Just one. And I speak about to my mother and my father. Just one. Uh, it could be oh, your mother okay. or your father. My father. Okay. I, my, my father uh, uh, died uh, ago. Uh, 10 years, but he, he was a person so serious and, and he don't like to um, joke and are a, a person don't smile and he was a teacher to a school and um, what I love her so much. <laughs> okay, okay. And uh, let's, uh, oh, you have to describe also your father like a physical, uh, a uh, physical description. Okay, your, um, your how? is a uh, one and, and six and cent centimeters. Centimeters? Centimeters, yes. And your color to skin are a uh, coffee. And your eyes, uh, what color black? And your hair, hair, are to black. Okay, excellent. And let's suppose you are in the most expensive restaurant. What would you like to eat? Um, uh, what is the restaurant and I was? I don't know. Just imagine that you are in the in. A must, the most expensive restaurant. Ah, uh, uh, a restaurant in. Russia. Maybe in in Dubai or Russia. Uh huh. Yes, in Russia, that is this food are so good. I don't eat that food in this country in in El Salvador. Uh, this. For this uh, plate, I don't, I don't remember the name, but uh, in this, uh, in this uh, plate, I have uh, uh, meat and potato and rice. Uh, yeah, I like uh to eat that food because i don't know remember i i i believe the cost are uh 15 um rubles okay Okay, excellent. Uh, thank you, Adonai. So just pay attention on the third rule of the simple present. 
because when you were talking about your father, you say your hair was um, black. I, I, I suppose yes. that your hair. Yes, because I say was because he is there. Uh huh. Yes, and the simple past it's okay, but you have to use a where. Well, where? I, I uh, because I, yeah. because yes, no yes, yes. because you are using you, but you are talking about your father, so you have to talk about his his. He yes. is, uh-huh. Yes, the, third, the street person or the third. Uh-huh, the third person. So now uh, yes. that makes sense. His hair yes. was black. So maybe yes. improve your pronunciation uh, here in podcasts, songs, or audiobooks. Uh, and in, try to improve the simple past rules, uh, simple present rules, okay? Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, that's all for the for the interview. I will say interview. I will assign you to another group. Okay. Okay. And, and yes. Uh, I have a uh, uh, level to this test. A, a what? Uh, uh, I I have a uh, un level about to this test do you give like uh, like a score yes a score about to this uh test yes yes you will you will have a, a score for a for this verbal test uh a number oh i cannot see you i cannot uh, tell you no, I think uh, I will. I will um, evaluate all uh, that you have said. Um, maybe seven, because you have to improve simple uh, present, and that's something that you learn in in basic, basic one, basic two, and basic three. So you have to be careful about it. Okay. Okay. Did but don't worry. The, yes. Uh, the this level is pre. Intermedial. Mm -hmm. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Perfect. Yeah. Okay, you can do okay. it. Don't worry. Okay. Okay. Bye. I will. I will have another interview. Okay. Hello. Um, hello. How are you? We are alone in the breaking room. Okay. Yes. Hey, I'm I'm fine, uh, teacher, and you. <laughs> Excellent, <laughs> but I hear uh, I hear like nervous in your voice. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I a little nervous. Don't worry. They are just three questions, and you will do it very well. They are easy. Okay, so don't worry. Okay. 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 So the first question: Can you give? Can you introduce yourself? And yes. Um, my name is Ariel. I'm 30 years old. Um, I'm studying uh, web development. Um, I live with my family, my uh, three brothers and my dad. And I work in a uh, advertising agency like motion graphic designer. And I have uh, five years of experience on it. Um, what else? Uh, I, I think that's all. <laughs> okay, excellent. And how does your mother or your father look like? You can choose one of them and describe it. Okay, my mom, because it's okay. my favorite. <laughs> 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 yeah. okay okay continue describe physical and, and like emotional or maybe feelings okay or personality uh, okay let me see um she is no tall um she, she uh, he has a uh, white skin 
curly hair and brown eyes and um he is 40 48 years old and he is very sweet he or she she okay uh, sorry don't worry <laughs> i i always i always confuse that she and he i don't know why is something basic but <laughs> yes and i think because they they are very similar it yeah, happens yeah. to me yeah. a lot so don't worry okay Okay, and the final, let's suppose you are in the most expensive restaurant, maybe in Dubai. So what would you like to eat or to order? Okay, um, maybe I could uh, choose any food because I like everything. <laughs> okay. But if you, if you ask me, maybe I, I um, will ask for... Pupusas. <laughs> In Dubai? <laughs> yeah, it's very bad. I don't know what, what type of food uh, they sell in the Dubai, but... Okay. <laughs> it's, it's an example. Okay. <laughs> um, because uh, I like the... How do you say? Um, maiz, masa? Um, Corn? Corn flour? Yeah, and uh, with uh, the meat, the combination of both, uh, I like that a lot, and uh, the salad, and the uh, onion on it, and that, and something. Okay. It's very delicious for me. Yeah. Okay, thank you. So maybe uh, in some uh, cases you need uh, to improve your pronunciation, but you are very good in. in you did it very good. And I think maybe to get more vocabulary will help you mm -hmm. to, to, mm -hmm. to improve this. Because if, if for example, in, in the third uh, sentence, you mm -hmm. didn't say a lot. So maybe because you, you need more vocabulary about this part. Yeah. So mm -hmm. maybe you can study uh, yeah. about this type of topic. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. So in general, <clears throat> sorry. In general, how much, how, uh, what score do you give me in general? <laughs> I think a nine. Nine, ah, okay. Mm -hmm. That is uh, it's a good one. Yes, it is. Okay. So you see, <clears throat> mm -hmm. you did it well. Okay. Thank okay, you, so teacher. you will you will come back with your uh, classmates mm -hmm. and I'm going to continue, okay? Okay. Thank you, teacher. Thank you. See you. See you. Hi. Did you Hello. finish? Did you finish, guys? Hi. Hi. Uh, yeah. mm, no? Not yet. Okay. Not yet. Okay, excellent. Continue. Bother me. It's very, very strange, and I don't know. I don't like it. Yes, yes, I won't like it too. Yes, I hate. Uh, the Thor Ragnarok. Is that your uh, first activity or your second activity? No, I'm totally oh. sorry. The first. first activity. Okay, excellent. So we are going to continue with uh, the, um, the verbal test. So don't worry, you can continue. Hello, this fire. Hello, teacher. Yeah, how are you? Uh, I am fine and great. Okay, excellent. Okay. So we're going to do the we're going to do this quickly. Okay, so okay. they are just three questions. Don't feel nervous. Uh, you can do it. I believe in you, so don't worry. So the first question: Are you ready to start? Okay, teacher. 
Hmm. Okay, can you this uh, can you introduce yourself? Okay. Hello everyone. Uh, hello teacher. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, uh, my name is Brian. My surname is Martinez. My first surname is Martinez. Um, I am 25 years old. I work as an archivist and I work from uh, Monday to Friday. And I like to, I like to eat pupusa. <laughs> I like to play, to play. Uh, video games and uh, my favorite game is Fortnite and and what's I don't know what more can I say maybe I like to listen to music and and today uh, for this six for the next six months and I I'm going to I am taking a, a bootcamp of of programming to develop the skills to 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 learn and to find a, a job on the in the ET. Okay. 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 And are you did you finish? Yes, yes. Okay. Teacher. How does your mother or father look like? Choose one. Okay, maybe my mother. Okay. Uh, she looks like a person, as a big person, she's a uh, chubby. Uh, she has a uh, short hair. Uh, she likes to paint her her hair or red or brown and she's very she's very kind with with me uh, she has a, a good personality and I love her so much <laughs> okay excellent and let's suppose something you are in the most expensive restaurant, maybe in Dubai, I don't know, maybe in Russia, any place like that. So what would you like to eat or to order? Uh, I would like to eat um, a bistec uh, with- A bistec. A bistec with gold on. There is a, 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 a dish. I see there is so too expensive. Yes, and it's in Dubai, right? Oh I guess. <laughs> I don't know what's the the the, the flavor of the gold in the bistic, but <laughs> it's good to to try it. Why do you do you want to try it? Uh, because we are in the most expensive restaurant. <laughs> okay. only, only for that <laughs> okay just because you're curious okay so Brian you got a 10 you have very good uh, uh, grammar you do it well you have a lot of vocabulary you have very good pronunciation and you use well the third person so I am proud of you. I hope uh, for, uh, that you continue practicing and um, continue here in the class learning a lot. Okay. Okay. Thanks, teacher. Teacher, okay. can I give a quick teacher? Yes. Can I make you a, a question? Yes. Yes. Um, could you give me a, a, an advice to, to learn more English or in a, a, what can I say, a better way to learn English or something yes. that you hear about two years ago. And if you knew it in that time, it will help you to, to learn more. Yes, maybe I think you have, first of all, you have to search for something that you really love. 
For example, okay. I, I can say uh, audiobooks or a, a normal book uh, that you can read, but try to find one that you love. Because okay. if you love, you will try to find, oh, what that means. Because if not, mm. I won't understand the book and I want to understand okay. it. Mm -hmm. So try to do it and also try to read, try to hear uh, English uh, songs and also podcasts. Podcasts. Okay. Because you will uh, get more vocabulary, get more vocabulary, and also you will improve uh, your, your reading comprehension, listening comprehension, and more fluency. Okay. Uh, okay, teacher. Thanks, teacher. Thank you. Okay, so that's all for the class. We are going to return, okay, to the main session. Okay, teacher. Bye. Bye. Again, teacher. No, we are in the main session. Uh -huh. Okay. Well. We're going to wait for your other classmates. Don't worry. I don't know what's happening. We have to be here now. Okay. So sorry, Brian. <laughs> you have to wait for them. Okay, guys, I just uh, took three, uh, uh, three of you to test. So um, the next class, I hope to take the test of, uh, to a lot or more people. Um, so that's all for the class. Try to, try to practice, try to get more fluency, obviously practicing and get more vocabulary, okay? Uh, yeah, if I cannot uh, like advance a lot in your interviews because it takes a lot of time, uh, Maybe some of you will have to send an audio, but wait, if, if I cannot advance a lot, I will do this. If not, we are going to continue in the class like, like today, okay?